Hi guys, I have an Ulta haul for you today. Pretty big one, I've been doing a lot of shopping lately. Uh, let's start with the Hello Kitty OPI set. Comes with two polishes, which are on my fingers, and a little, let's open it up. A Hello Kitty coin purse. That's pretty cute. Um, so here's the colors. I have the sparkly pink here. And this is in the color Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel. It says, you will just love this fun pink super glitter. And that is really pretty. And I put this on over this pink color, but I have it on my toes without being on top of another color. And you don't have to. It goes on this pink all by itself. Did you see how beautiful that is? The other color is called Look at My Bow. It says, this sweet girl pink sits right at the top. This one's not that great. I mean, it's just a pink polish. I don't know. This one went on a little, um, I'm not giving you the finger. This one went on a little streaky. I wasn't a big fan of this. I have better stuff that's a lot cheaper. So this is really cute. I love the Hello Kitty OPI. And I have two more. I have this yellow color. And this is called my Twin Mimi. Super cute. And one thing I don't like is that the this is just like a plastic uh, sheath over the actual like the normal OPI so it's not like special for Hello Kitty but that's really pretty hopefully this one I have some yellows and they're always really streaky and you need like 20 coats so hopefully this is more opaque it's coming off a little more neon on camera than it is in real life this is like a yellow crayon not a neon just a regular yellow crayon in real life this color is like my favorite color right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is called Super Cute in Pink, but it's totally like a lilac purple, as you can see against my wall here. This is like my favorite color right now. I just love this lilac purple color. So this is Super Cute in Pink and my twin Mimi. Love them. So this next thing is so unlike me. I am super picky with my fragrances. I like really sweet scents, like cotton candy-ish, vanilla scents. I don't like florals and I don't like, I don't like juicy couture scents. They're all just kind of generic and I don't know. And I don't like alcoholic scents and I really don't like rose scents. And I actually got this, uh, I think it was you spend 50 bucks and you get this from Ulta. And it's full of all sorts of samples. Uh, which includes this KMS California hair stuff and then a Smashbox X-rated pretty good size mascara But this came totally full of stuff and it included a sample of Shut that I came with a sample of this Viva La Juicy Rose and oh my god, it smells so good It just it smells like roses. I don't like rose scents and it smells like roses, but it has like, uh, I think it's cedar wood or something in it, sandalwood. I don't know, it has vanilla and some different stuff in it. But <clears throat> I absolutely love this. And I went and got the huge 3.4 ounce. Do you see this beautiful packaging? It's super sparkly. Why don't I show you the bottle? I just opened this now. Do you see how gorgeous this is? It's kind of like a rose gold to yellow gold ombre. It has a little pink wine bottle, the bow. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know what it is, but I love it even though I don't like rose scents. My camera keeps like falling down. It's not gonna be good. So if you buy the 3.4 ounce right now at Ulta, um, before Valentine's Day, um, I think they have triple points on fragrances, but you get this kind of like a light pink blush colored cross body bag from Juice Couture. So that's why I got the Gigantor one. Comes with the thing there. This is super cute. I'm going on vacation soon. So I always love crossbody bags on vacation. My extensions are showing. Okay. Next, I got the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. I was gonna get the one color. Here it is right here. It's the Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blush Wardrobe. I was gonna get one for $26 and I think all three were $36 or 
They're little tiny ones, but I don't know. I don't finish blushes ever. This is the one I wanted. I will always love you because I don't really have any peachy blushes. So we have Love Hangover, which is kind of like a rosy, a darker rosy color. Baby Love looks super neutral, which is definitely my kind of colors. I will always love you is just straight peach. How Deep Is Your Love is very dark pink. Justify My Love looks like a purpley pink and Your Love is King looks like a straight grape color. But these dark colors, oh, don't be scared of them. They usually, you know, if you put them on lightly with a big brush, they usually look pretty awesome. So definitely excited to try this out. I kind of went on a little Too Faced kick. I got the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette. I haven't used the blushes yet and I haven't used this yet. It's pink packaging, looks, you know, like the usual chocolate bar. Metal packaging, little hearts. Oh, it smells so good. This one, oh, you can see my, there's my clean fragrances right there. If you are more sensitive to scents, this isn't as chocolatey as the other ones. It has the chocolate scent, but it's not as strong as the other chocolate bar palettes. So these are gorgeous. I haven't used it yet. I actually got those for Valentine's Day for my husband because I took his credit card and ordered it. Oh, okay, next is another toothpaste. Toothpaste? Too Faced product. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. The color is porcelain. Here's what the bottle looks like. And everybody raves about this, so I had to get it. I usually use MAC Pro Longwear in NW15. And then I also have the waterproof in NW20, which both work for me. Has a pump, I used it today, and look how messy that is after one use. I have it on today. And I mean, everybody says this is like their holy grail foundation and everybody just loves it. I'm not that, I don't know, I have rosacea and it didn't cover my rosacea. My MAC Pro Longwear covers it up like nothing. This didn't cover it up and it just, I just went on like a drugstore foundation. It was nothing great. It, everybody says like, oh, it looks like skin. I don't know, you tell me. I'm a little dry, but you can see, I've also been wearing this all day long. You can see I have some acne scarring here. My rosacea is starting to show. I'm a little shiny. I don't know. I might return it. I'll give it another couple tries. The packaging's cute, but I don't know. I think it's 38 or $39. I don't know. I think I'll go back to my Mac. Okay, a product I do love is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder SPF 50 Plus Sheer to Cult, but Sheer to Full Coverage Optical Blurring Finishing Veil. Holy crap. So I usually use the It Cosmetics, I might have it right here. No, the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, which I really love. I have just the regular in the illuminating and I'm out of it right now. So I thought I would pick this guy up and I'm in the color light. Fair is usually a little too light for me. Uh, light is usually a little too dark for me. Um. Here's what it looks like. And it has a little spongy under there. I just used a fluffy brush. It says you can do, just kind of like use it as a finishing powder, which is what I did today over the Born This Way. Or you can just go to town with it and put it on like a foundation. So it really actually blurred stuff. It was so cool how it worked. It just kind of blurred your imperfections, kind of like how the hourglass powders kind of blur your skin. This did that. I highly, highly recommend this. And then they had a deal. No, it wasn't that. It was over here. They had a deal if you buy like so much money in uh, It Cosmetics, you get a It Cosmetics. It's totally glaring. The CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream 50 Plus. I think I tried this before and I didn't really like it, but maybe with the powder over it, I will like it. And <clears throat> then I ordered this. It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Complexion Brush in number 101. That's what that looks like. And, man, I'm just picky today. I like the packaging. I like that, you know, I'm going to travel. It's nice. It just looks like a... I have, like, three BH... I think they're BH Cosmetics. I have, like, three brushes that look just like this. Kind of looks like the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. That one might even be a little softer. This feels very synthetic. I mean, synthetic's good, but it feels almost like, like it's not gonna like hold product to it. 
I don't know. We'll see how it works. I should just stop running my mouth and try it. I do like the little topper for travel. So that is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation brush. I thought that with this would be perfect. Okay, almost done. Um, I got three. I never get the accessories there. I decided I wanted headbands and they had three of these for like 12 bucks and each one has like two. This is kind of a gunmetal color, silver, and then gold. Let's try them on. That looks pretty bad. Especially because my black's growing out and you can see my blonde rips. Oh well. And then I got, I was looking at all these buxom lip colors because people keep ra raving. Um, it's the buxom big and sexy bold gel lipstick. They have the regular ones and then they have the matte ones. And people rave about these on YouTube and I really wasn't pleased with the color selection. They don't really have nudie nudes. They either have like really dark colors and they're all brown. I know there's the whole like, I don't know, 90s lip going on right now, but brown just doesn't look good on me. So I got Rebel Rose and here's the color. It's kind of like a nudie. Oh, that's really pretty. Pinky color. It has a bit of that 90s vibe but it's not straight brown. This is huge, this packaging, and that's kind of cool. Do you see it? Whoop, it goes to the buxom. I don't like how big that is though. Like look at that compared to my lip. It just doesn't give you that nice little point. I totally missed a product. I got this Vibrant Sexy Hair Rose Elixir, uh, Rose and Almond Oil. It says Hair and Body Dry Oil Mist. I don't know, I thought I'd give it a try. Really, I was intrigued to get rose scented stuff after getting that rose perfume. So, I don't know, I think it just makes your hair shiny. Because my hair is black, it just looks so like healthy and it looks good when you have a shine. So, we'll see how that works. All right, so that is it for my Alta haul. Uh, check out my Sephora haul I'm gonna post here in a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys, bye.